Hi y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen and I finished my sweet potatoes uh, for Thanksgiving. So please tune in to that. Now I'm getting ready to make a sweet potato pie. And a sweet potato pie is similar to your candy yams. You almost use the same things. Uh, but I'll be using, I'll be using some honey, a vanilla uh, extract, that's nutmeg, ground cinnamon, brown sugar, white sugar, some eggs, butter, and of course the sweet potatoes. And this is right here is uh, uh, sugar and milk that you uh, wrap, uh, wipe your edges of your pie crust. It'll prevent it, help it from burning. Okay, well, the first thing, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna peel my sweet potatoes. You know, I boil them till they got tender. And these are some good sweet potatoes. Like I say on my candy yam, try not to get the real big ones. I know sometimes you don't have no choice. To me, the sweet, the, the smaller they are, the sweeter they are. That's how I look at it. I might be wrong, but that's how I do. You peel them and make sure they're soft. And you can tell these are soft. So I, the skin come right off them. And for this one pie, maybe I'm, I'm using three sweet potatoes. Two is enough, but I would just want to make sure I got enough, so I use three, because they're a little small. Take everything off of them. Okay. And that's all you need for a one, maybe three. I use two. Two sweet potatoes per, per pie. That's how I look at it. Okay. I'm getting ready to... Beat this up, get these uh, sweet potatoes smooth. And I use, I'm using this uh, little. Put it in here. Okay, that's enough for that. You don't want them because they're soft. That's enough. Okay. Okay, this is just a little uh, for one pie, a little sweet potato for one pie. It's for two sweet potatoes and uh, two, three, yeah, two. So I'm going to put a little cinnamon. I'm start with my dry ingredients. Cinnamon. Put a little cinnamon. You don't, don't put much because this is just for one pie. It's just sprinkle some of that on there. That's my cinnamon. I must use some, look, some nutmeg. Just put a little bit in this. I should hold it up for y'all so y'all can see. Oh, this is kind of, I don't know why this one, okay. Well, just a little bit. Okay, that's a nutmeg. I'm gonna put a little tap of the pure Vanilla extract, just a little bit. Oh, that's enough. It came out just enough. Because you don't want to get this too wet. And uh, what else? I'm going to put a little honey. Let's see. Watch how much I put. Just a little bit. And then I'm going to put a little brown sugar in here. It's kind of. And this sweet potato is sweet too, so you don't need very much uh, stuff on it. Put this in there. Then I'm gonna put some of uh, this left from the sweet potatoes. I don't know what that is. Okay, and I'm gonna put a, just a tap of lemon, like I say. That's a, no, that's not the lemon. <laughs> Sorry, that's the sugar stuff. Here's the lemon. Just a tap of lemon juice. Okay. I'm gonna use. Uh, my flour, I mean my sugar, I'm sorry. And my mother used, my mother used, uh, she used uh, flour in her just a little bit so you can make it kind of firm. That's Sometimes you don't have to use that, but that's what my mother did to make it firm. I'm gonna put an egg in here to hold it together. One egg, crack an egg and put it here. This holds it together. Okay, let me see. Oh, what? Okay. And see how it kind of, it's kind of wet, so the flour helps hold it together. It won't take much. So I 
got everything in here. Some sugar. There's some little bit in here. I'm gonna taste this. You can always taste this. So it looks. Oh, that looks good. But I got to taste and see. I taste. And like I said, my mother puts a little flour in it, and the, the country people always put just a little flour in it. I don't that holds it together, and make it a little firmer. So y'all, if you begin to cook, put a little flour, not a lot. You see how much I put in here? You don't need that much. Just make it a little firmer. So I'm gonna put a little bit more in here, so it won't be so soupy. Now it's a little bit more. So I use everything, and I'm gonna put a little, a little butter in there. I'm gonna get some. Okay. This butter has, uh, I have a little soft butter. This is kind of, it's not soft as I want it to be, so I'm gonna have to kind of, you know. But make sure your butter is softer than this. So you can put it in here. I got the eggs, I got the lemon juice, I got the sugar, I got the cinnamon, I got the nutmeg, I got the flavor. So that's everything I need. You don't have to mix this no more. And you're just gonna pour it into a pan. And what I do, I take my pan, I take my uh, pie crust and put it in the oven for about, for about 10 minutes so it can, you know, cook a little bit. Cause like this is already done and you don't have to worry about this while this is doing it. And I take, see, I take this pie crust and I got my oven heated to uh to uh, 350. It's already heating. So I go right around the edge of this is sugar and milk. It helps it stop help stop it from burning. That's how I, that's how I use it. I learned that. Just put it around the edges. I'm gonna pull that out that fell up around there. I'm gonna pull that out of here. And then stop it from burning. And when you're doing pies, I always use the sugar and milk to stop it from burning. It'll help it uh, from burning on the edges because you know it don't burn the while, but on the edges. So I'm going to get ready in a few minutes. I'm going to set this in the oven and come back to this pie for 10 minutes until it brown a little bit. Get this ready. I'm going to taste this and see how that tastes while that's working. Well, I got the pie crust in the oven. I'm a little... I don't feel as good as I should today. That's why I'm a little jumpy, a little edge, but I'll be okay. I'm getting better. Kind of repeating myself a little bit, but I feel I'm getting a lot better. So I'm gonna get back with you all when that uh, pie crust uh, get a little brown. I, I put it, leave in there for about 10 minutes. Okay. Okay, it wasn't as sweet as I wanted to be, so I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar. Make sure you chase your pie and make sure it tastes like you want it to taste. I know what it was, why it don't taste as good as it should, because you know what? I forgot to put my, I, I, uh, I might've put that pure vanilla extract. It didn't taste like it was in there, so I probably didn't. I'm, most likely I did, but it didn't taste like it. So I put a little bit in there. I'm gonna taste it again. It wasn't as sweet as I like it. And you do the same thing. Make sure you taste your, um, your pie, because once you cook it, it's too late. You can always add before it gets done, but once it gets done, it's too late. So I'm gonna add a little bit more. I'm putting all the ingredients in there again. Like I said, I don't feel as good as I should, but I'm getting better. Okay, that's a nutmeg. I'm gonna put a little bit more cinnamon in there. It'll be good to go then. Okay, I got everything I need. Maybe a tap of lemon juice too. Just no, this is not. I always get the lemon juice mixed. This is, that's the sugar on the uh, sugar and milk. Okay, I'm gonna taste this again and see if it's good. My pie crust is in the oven, getting a little brown. I'm leaving it for about ten minutes. Let's see. Mm hmm. It's okay now. Good to go. Okay.
okay, here it is. I, I taste it and I added a little bit, whatever it needed, I put in there with the ingredients that I showed y'all because it wasn't as sweet as I wanted to be. But I'm getting ready to put it in the oven. I got my oven set for 350. And when it uh, when the crust get ready, most likely your pie will be ready. That's how you can judge when you're cooking a pie. If, you, if your crust browns, that means your pie is done. Okay then. Here's the finishing touch of my sweet potato pie. Please hit that notification bell, subscribe to Maddie's Kitchen, and when I update another video, you'll be the first to know. Thank you for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen.